derivatization in gas chromatography while analyzing the compound through gc and hplc if the compound is more polar or less volatile then it will cause problem during analysis so for this purpose we will derivatize the sample or analyte so derivatization is the process of chemically modifying a chemical compound to produce a new compound that is suitable for analysis by gc or hplc in simple word we can say that we are chemically transforming the analyte into a more convenient and more easily detectable form the modified analyte in this case is the product that is known as derivative it should be noted that the chemical structure of the compound will remain the same only a specific functional group in the analyte molecule need to be modified while the overall structure of the or overall arrangement of the atom in a compound should remain the same why we are derivatizing the uh, analyte molecule or what is the purpose of derivatization so the first one and the major one is to convert the polar or non volatile compound to relatively non polar and volatile compound volatile compounds or volatile products are the basic requirement for gc here we will replace the active hydrogen active hydrogen will form the uh, hydrogen bond if we if it form the hydrogen bond then it will cause or it will create a polarity in the anode molecule also it will make the molecule or anode non volatile so we should replace the active hydrogen that will make the compound polar or non volatile with some compound that will make the compound non polar and volatile it will improve the thermal stability of the target compound increased detector response by incorporating functional groups which, which leads to a higher detector signal there are a variety of substituents available that contain the electronegative halogen or nitro group that when incorporated into the anode molecule that will increase the detector signal just like in ecd the basic principle of ecd is that it will detect the compounds that contain electronegative atoms electron capture detector so it, if we introduce the fluoride chloride and bromide atom into the derivative then it will cause a higher detector signal in case of ecd improve gc separation performance the derivatized analyte may have significantly different properties from each other in terms of polarity in terms of boiling point that will cause the good separation uh, on gc it can convert the analyte to a form that has less tendency to produce tailing peak by interacting with a column active sites if the polar hydrogen group is present it will interact it will secondary interaction with column active site that will cause tail ring effect because it will it will elute it later and it will cause tail ring effect in order to avoid this tail ring effect the active hydrogen should be replaced or the active or the polar hydrogen should be replaced with some non polar group so the secondary interaction will be minimum and the tail ring effect or the tail ring of peak will be minimum selecting a derivatization reagent what is derivatization reagent it is the substance that is used to chemically modify a compound to produce a new compound which has property that are suitable for analysis in gc and lc so these are the chemical reagents or chemical compound that will react with the analyte and it will produce a derivative so there is some criteria given for selecting a derivatization reagent first one is the reagent should produce more than 95% complete derivatives the reaction should be complete up to 95% it should not cause any rearrangement or structure alteration of the compound during formation of the derivative 
we have already studied it that the deri derivatization or derivative reagent should be such that it will not cause any structural changes in the analyte it will specifically target one functional group in the analyte molecule but the overall structure of the compound will remain the same it should not contribute to any loss of the sample during the reaction it should produce a derivative that that will not interact with the gc column so it has no interaction with the gc column if there is interaction with the gc column then it will cause a tail ring effect it should produce a derivative that is suitable that is stable with respect to time general reaction for derivatization derivatization can be used to replace active hydrogen from the analyte so here the analyte y h are given and it has active hydrogen it should be noted that this active hydrogen will play a major role in determining the volatility and polarity of the compound if this active hydrogen is present in the analyte molecule then the analyte will be more polar or less volatile for gc we need more volatile compound so this active hydrogen should be replaced with some less polar or more volatile compound this is the derivatization reagent this is a derivative form and acid will be produced so this h will be replaced by the r r r can be alkyl group r can be aryl group r can be silyl group and many more and the h x will produce acid this acid should be replaced from this system or from the medium if it is present in the medium then it will cause damage to the column so the r that has lack of polarity it should be introduced into the analyte molecule and the active hydrogen is replaced from the analyte molecule r in the reagent uh, can be low molecular mass fragment such as methyl or ethyl or short chain fluorinated alkyl groups in alkylation reaction trimethyl silyl or other silyl groups in silylation reactions acyl or short chain fluorinated acyl groups in acylation reaction so according to the r group that can be ethyl that can be methyl that can be silyl or that can be acyl these can be divided into categories silylation reactions acylation reactions alkylation reaction and chiral derivatization